G'day you. Here I am, Sesame Street, obviously. Now, we're going to do Bert and Ernie today, and I'm splitting the video into two, so you'll see chunks of Bert and then chunks of Ernie. Have a look. Who's your favourite from Sesame Street? Now, the Sesame Street movie coming out 2022 is very exciting. I really like Ernie. Let's draw an Ernie. But you can't have an Ernie without a... But that's right, well done. Now for some of you in the US especially, that's going to be what you might call a football, or an American football as we call it in the UK, or a rugby ball, that kind of shape. It's an oval really, or an egg shape. That's the one. That's Ernie for you. Then he needs ears. Ernie's ears. And then... Uh, one line across there is going to represent where the top of his mouth is going to go. One line underneath is going to be where the bottom of it is. Simple as that. We're looking at very, very simple shapes at the moment. And then a little shape like that becomes his jaw. So over this, we're going to draw his hair. That's pretty simple as well. I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of Bert and Ernie because I love Bert and Ernie. They are very, very cool, very funny, very lovely people, and they teach us lots of cool things about being kind and being friends and looking like a pineapple. No, I mean, Bert does look kind of like a pineapple. That's what we do. It's not SpongeBob's house, it's Bert's head. Anyway, ears. Big nose. No offense, no. Sorry. I'm going to draw his mouth. His nose. Eyes. Eyes. They go slightly behind there, but don't worry if you mess that up like I just did. I'm here to show you that making mistakes is okay. You are still an artist, and mistakes can be rectified. But get them right at the pencil stage, so your pen stage goes nice and swimmingly well, and it's very, very easy, and you don't have to do anything except for follow the lines you've already made. And that's what I'm doing with this one here at the moment, just making sure everything it looks relatively in the right place. It's not bad, is it? It's coming there, it's coming together. It's a bit like him. Ernie. Yeah, I think roughly we're there and we're ready for the digital stage. Before we start the inking stage, which we can do once we're happy with this. And I'm pretty happy with that as a point to move off from. Let's go on to the inking. Here we are, yeah, he's still looking a bit like a pineapple, isn't he? So, this is my very fast inking of Bert. Did you know Bert and Ernie live at 123 Sesame Street in the basement apartment? No, neither did I. But there we go, living their happy little life down there. Draw Bert's eyebrow in there, nice big mono brow he's got. This is it. The line works come together very quickly on this one. Obviously, I've sped it up, but it was quite quick anyway. And on to Ernie. Ernie's got the completely different shaped head, as you can see there, but follow your lines, and you'll end up with a good result, I reckon. Bert and Ernie were named after the two characters from the film It's a Wonderful Life, Bert the Policeman and Ernie the Cab Driver. Did you know that? Have you seen that film? Maybe watch it this Christmas. And you can tell your family that fun fact. There we go, he's looking more like a banana now. Um, but yeah, he is yellow, isn't he? So we'll leave it like that. Um, bit of lightness on the, on the nose and a bit of a darker shadow underneath. Filling in the mouths with that nice dark red colour. Lined it up a little bit now. Nice pink tongues. I like the fact that I'm colouring them side by side now. It's a proper team effort. I think Bert and Ernie would like that. The 
Getting all my base colours in there and a bit of shadow underneath. Can't resist putting a bit of those in just to keep it uh, a bit more uh, lifelike, a bit more realistic. Filling Bert's eyes now. He's really coming to life now, isn't he? And there's Ernie. He's waking up too. So this video is made before the 2022 Sesame Street film comes out. When that movie's out, I'm going to watch it a hundred times. I really hope Burn Ernie are in it a lot. Feeling in Bert's lovely polar neck there. And all I've really got left to do now is the stripes on their jumpers. Not quite different stripy jumpers. If you could dress like Bert or Ernie, which one would you dress like? Let me know in the comments. I know which one I would dress like. It's Bert. It's Bert. I feel like I've got Bert's hairstyle as well. <laughs> there they are. That has really come together nicely. He's got to finish off Bert's jumper. That's why I want to dress like Bert, is that jumper. I absolutely love it. Someone let me know where I can find, where I can buy that jumper. And there they are. That's the finished pick. I'm really quite pleased with them. It's my little love letter to Bert and Ernie. I hope you liked it too. Hi, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time on CaptainFishbeard.com.